Jumbo, fellow dreamers. In today's video, I am doing a collab with At Home With Nikki and OCD Much. I will link both of their channels in the description bar below. We are doing a five minute crock pot challenge. I challenged these ladies to see if they could get a complete meal in the crock pot with active time being less than five minutes. I've never tried this, so I don't know if it's even possible. So I'm gonna go give it a whirl and just see what happens. This could go really, really bad. I'm Anne, and this is Annie's Simple Life. low FODMAP or IBS diet friendly chicken fajitas in the crock pot. I've got my little timer here. I've got it set for five minutes and I think we'll totally be able to get this done. So here are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need a pack of chicken. I'm using organic free range chicken thighs, but you can use chicken breasts, whatever you have. I like using chicken thighs because they're cheaper and they're really, really flavorful and works really nicely in this recipe and they don't take as long to cook. So then I'm also going to be using three quarters of a bag of frozen peppers, leaving the onions out of this recipe. And I'm also using some diced and fire roasted tomatoes. These are from Trader Joe's. And then for seasonings, I'll be using some garlic, olive oil, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and some ground cumin, and that's it. So since I only have five minutes, what I normally do is I normally put my chicken in and then I go and wash my hands and da 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 da. So since I have five minutes and I'm a little worried about the time, I'm going to put my chicken in the crock pot last, but that's just so I don't have to stop and wash my hands and screw up my five minute time. So I think we're good to go. So let's give this a try. I've never tried it in five minutes, so kind of nervous. Okay, so timer is set and we're off. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my garlic olive oil and I'm just going to pour it on the bottom of my crock pot here just to kind of make sure that the chicken and everything doesn't stick. And I like using the garlic olive oil because it gives that garlic flavor without having the actual garlic in there. So then I'm just going to pour in my bag of frozen peppers here. It's going to work out to being about half or three quarters of a bag. I'm gonna do about half. My crock pot's a little smaller, so I think that'll work good. All right, so then on top of that, I'm going to pour about half of the can of the fire roasted and diced tomatoes on top. This is kind of like a salsa, more or less. So about half the can, just kind of eyeballing it. That's about it, good. And then I'm going to put in my sea salt, probably about a teaspoon. I rarely use recipes. I just kind of dump things in my pan and it always works out fine in my crock pot. And then ground cumin, I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of this. A little goes a long way. Okay, so that's it. So now I'm just going to dump my little chicken thighs in here. Get it cut open. All right, so then I'm just gonna pop them right on top. In they go like that. Where to put that. And I'm just going to take a spoon, but let me wash my hands here real quick. Excuse me. Okay, let's see how we're doing on time here. Two and a half minutes left, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just going to break up the chicken thighs a little bit. Just kind of get them in here. And then all I'm going to do now is drizzle a little bit of the garlic oil, olive oil on top of the chicken. And then that'll kind of keep it from burning. There we go. And that's it. Lid on, cook on high three and a half to four hours and you're done. How'd I do, huh? One minute and 53 seconds, how about that? Okay, bonus, since I have two minutes left, I'm gonna do another one. This is two meals in five minutes in the crock pot and you're gonna be eating for a week. This is fantastic. All right, so um, for this recipe, I'm gonna do some Asian pork, which is really easy. I just have a boneless pork loin roast. This is from Trader Joe's. And then I'm going to drizzle on top each of these things. So I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of the garlic olive oil, a little bit of gluten-free tamari soy sauce, 
works out to be about a tablespoon of each roughly, and then about half a tablespoon of organic maple syrup, a couple grinds of some pink sea salt, and that's it. So I've got my timer here. I'm gonna set it for a minute and 53 seconds, and away we go. Okay, so I just put the pork in, and now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of garlic olive oil on top, and I'm going to make sure I have some around the sides too, just so it doesn't burn. Just a titch, there we go. And then I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of organic gluten-free soy sauce. This is tamari. And I'm going to put that. I'm going to put some in the bottom of the crock pot too, just a little bit. So maybe that worked out to be about two tablespoons, roughly. And then a drizzle of some organic maple syrup. This is about half of a tablespoon, not very much at all. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's like dripping. Lovely. And some sea salt right on top. About a teaspoon. And that only took 53 seconds, so <laughs> that's good. I have to put a little bit of water in here too, just so it doesn't burn. Just make sure it stays moist. So this is about, I would say half a cup of water. And I'm just going to pour that around the pork. And done. Okay, so put the lid on and cook it on high for about four hours, or you can cook it on low, just like the other ones, for eight hours. Either one's fine. Serve it up with some rice, maybe some, you know, side salad or lettuce cup, something like that, and you've got yourself some Asian pork. Two meals, under five minutes. I love my crock pot. I love both my crock pots. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. And again, be sure to check out the videos that At Home With Nikki and OCD Much did in this collab too. I will link their channels in the description bar below. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.